Okay, that's all what Pascal's principles is. So now, where do we use it? We used it, we use it in what is called hydraulic levers. What is a hydraulic lever? A hydraulic lever, make this side smaller, and this side bigger. And fill it with a fluid. So what happens to this fluid if left to its own devices? But both of these levels will be equal. Yes. Water maintains its level. This is why we can get water from the water towers to our second floors as long as the water tower is above our second floor. So a lot of towns, they have a code that says you cannot construct, you know, more than three stories or two stories or whatever it is. A lot of that is a function of, you know, construction. They want to maintain it, but sometimes it's also because the water tower is that high. Otherwise, you won't be able to get water from the water tower onto the bathroom on the second floor if your third floor or your fourth floor is higher than the water tower, because the water maintains its level. So I found it very interesting. We went to um, Burj Khalifa, and when we were up, one of the things that they talked about was it is so high that the water does not get pumped up there. So they had to fundamentally re-engineer how they get water up to the 157th floor of the building. I think because no matter what kind of pumps they used, it just wouldn't reach that high. So they redid all their stuff, right? right? It is so interesting. Um, but that's what, the, that's what the water does. It maintains its level. Now, what happens if you apply a force to this side? Yes, sir. Why? Yes. The water always stays in the container and it's being contained. So if you push it down, it has to go up because there's nowhere for it to go. Because there's nowhere else for it to go. Right. Also, the reason why that happens is because the pressure in the force that you are applying gets equally transmitted through the entire fluid to the other side and it equally goes up. If Pascal's principle was not true, you know what would happen? that mm -hmm. or even worse oh god oh. so can that happen no no that's because and remember water was not doing that before pascal came along and, and decided that that's what he wanted to call this principle right the same way gravity was not invented by newton Right? Things were not flying off before Newton came to that conclusion. This is the same thing. Water was still doing this. He just named the principle after him. And water will continue to do the same thing, regardless of whether we call it Pascal's principle or not. Because that's just what water does. Yes. What? Like if you're filling up a pool with a hose. Right. right? But that's it's not a, that's not, that's just water flowing for the time. Okay. Once it's settled, it'll settle equally. Okay. But like they're, they're, the pool will not, never, ever, ever will your pool have this shape with water. I mean, when you're pouring it in, sure, right? Oh, it'll be funny. higher on one side. But once you stop pouring, it will take its shape. Or it'll take its shape this way. Actually, no, not that way. Right? Almost this so. won't happen. But this will. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's, it's a difference between static and flowing. It could flow with a gradient, but it will always settle at the same level. This is why we always measure Earth's altitudes from? Yeah. Why? That's where the water is resting at. No matter where you are on the planet, that's the level you measure everything. In. Yes, agreed. Tides make it go up, you know, tides go down, but the whole earth 
maintains the same water level. That is why every altitude is measured by sea level, because that is one constant that we absolutely know. Make sense? I'm gonna get rid of that. So now how can I use this to my advantage? I can use this to my advantage if I remember what we did last time. Pressure was defined as force per unit area perpendicular to the surface where force is being applied. So then may I write any pressure that I'm applying in as pressure in and any resulting pressure as pressure out. So Pascal's principle says P in should equal P out because delta P should equal P external. The change in pressure should equal P external. So Pascal's principle says P in should equal P out. May I call this area one and this area two? So then may I write this as force in over area one equals force out over area two? Then may I write force in equals force out A1 over A2 or vice versa. Right, we can also calculate force out, we can calculate force in, we can do all kinds of stuff. Okay. Can I also write volume as area times distance? This is my volume. A is the area and D is the distance that something moves as a result of the input force. Then can I say if this area moves down here, will that result in this moving up here? As this moves down, that moves up. So if I call this distance, D1, may I call this distance D2? So then can I write the volume that one moved down is the same volume that two moved up? Are they going to be equal because their pressures are equal? So may I then write V in equals V out? Then may I write this as A1D1 equals A2D2. So this means I can call this D1 as A2 over A1D2. Yeah. Or vice versa, whatever you have to calculate. Now, why is this useful? So dentist chairs, push up a button, they go up. Now they go up. In previous generations, oh, barber shops. Have you ever gone to a barber shop and they, they press the thingy with their, their feet and the chair goes up? Have you ever thought of how that works? Yes. This way. So how does that work? So by pressing the pedal, a small pedal on this side, so it's almost like the the... Barber presses the small pedal down here, whereas the big chair moves up here. Right? You sitting on the chair moves up while the pedal is being pumped a bunch of times. Good. Also, the dentist chair. Oh, cars. Hydraulic lifts in cars. When you go to a mechanic, how many has, have ever gone to a mechanic? And good. What do they do to your car? They put them on a thing and then they press a button and it goes up. Principle. What they have is like a, not water, but like a liquid that actually maintains. Remember those Newtonian liquids and stuff we were talking about? Like actually good incompressible oil, they, the, the hydraulic fluid. They put them in there and then they press a button which starts pumping it on one side and then the big car moves up the other side. It's a lot less effort 
for a big output. So anytime you hear a hydraulic lift or a jack or anything like that, this is the basic principle. Pascal's at work. <laughs>